preserved somewhere, this particular class. I don't know why it's preserved, but um, five, three, two, two. So if you know where five, two, three, three is, um, where it's being preserved, of oh, class five, three, two, two. So you sure? If you're where, let me know where class five, three, two, two is. Or where it's been preserved, let me know, alright, <laughs> because I'm interested. Um, so, we've got this one now coming out and pulling the train. and see how well she can pull this. Right, she's a little bit cold. She is another noisy one. And so she's probably a budget one, but it's probably one of the older kind. So, I don't know if she's got traction tires on this particular model, but one of them did have it. Which is not the best I do, but you will see as a tender connection design I have to put into myself so the connection when I got it didn't have it. So I have to explain some stuff to it. Which is um temporary, I mean I'm going to try and put I'll find a better permanent solution to that one, but the time being it is gonna cover the time being. It's not being noisy, but she is pulling it rather well. It's a bit of a wobble but the most reason the engine is coming tender. I've not had a tender engine for the new age. The top one was the idea one time a long time ago, but it would have been a very long time ago. Let's get a second lap, lap round. Let's try it, go out. I hope you're going to get the tender end onto the uh, first car and then go into that tender end. Mm -hmm. And you can just let me know what you think or what's your most favourite train model when you collect your money mm -hmm. trains, your steam and your diesel. Right, let's put that away. And we'll just connect that. I'm not trying to take any more two notices of the time today. Not that I've got enough time to um, edit and upload. Alright. We'll do this as one lap because it's ready in um, 10 to 11. So, let's go. Oh. Right, let's I'm going to make sure this is the one lap I'm going to do it in the airport. Okay. Down the straight, it's well. We're going to do a high speed test with these trains as well at some point. Just for a short time down the straights, but we've seen how fast they can move. But it'll only be, of course, short time on one video. So that won't be today. That will be probably later in the week or next week. Which comes. Obviously, you've got to try and motor in it. Why it's so noisy. And this is why the engines don't always work as well as they should. Because the engines just do play out and they don't always compromise each other. Right, let's None of them, as far as I'm aware, I've had her actually had a service before I had them, but so they don't generally tell you things like that. Why is this just <laughs> the signal is so weak over there? 
pinch it out. There we go. Right, that's um in the banging shell. We don't need to show the coaches though, we can just show the train which I'm gonna end it off where the town quarter is. So let's um drive into the shop. Which is just over there. Where the easy part of the track is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, these videos. Um, I do apologise for the camcorder playing up this morning, but again, it does occasionally play up, but not too often. I'm, I'm quite glad about. Um, so I hope you guys have a great um, day, and I'll see you guys on the first video. And um, keep your eyes peeled for the. Um, um, Keep guys feel for Wednesday because I'll probably be filming on the main lines of the Liftguard station. Um, so I'll see you guys on that one. But I hope you have a great, great day. And I wish people have a birthday as their birthday as well today. And I'll see you guys in the next video with my next film of my new trains. Peace.